Okay, so welcome back, and we are still with the circuit we ended with last time. And just to remind you, we have a 12-volt battery, and we have a 10-ohm resistor, in this case a light bulb, and we're getting 1.2 amps of current. Now we're going to change this circuit a little bit by adding two more light bulbs in a series. A series means that there's one pathway around. There's only one loop that the current can go through. Now to add those light bulbs in, I'm going to have to put some holes in my wire. So I'm going to go to these junctions up here that I, I left from before, right click on them, and hit split. And that'll open it up for me. Now I'm going to remove this wire real quick. Say you didn't have that extra corner like I did and you had a circuit look more like this. You can right click on any circle, split it, and that'll give you the ability to kind of pull it apart and change things. So I'm going to put a light bulb up here. I'll try to connect them in kind of the same order so it's a little easy to see. I'll put a wire in between these two light bulbs to connect them. And then finally I'm going to split the junction down here to put in a third light bulb. Now all three of these light bulbs are in order. The current has to go through all three. There's no alternate path. Now, my first question is going to be to make a prediction. Now, how should these light bulbs look? I have 1.2 amps when there's only one light bulb, but with three light bulbs I have more resistance. Since the voltage stays the same and resistance goes up, I'm going to predict that my current is going to go down. Now when I hit play, I see that it does. My current is much lower. What we're going to do now is test something else on this circuit. So I'm going to go over and take my voltmeter tool from this top right, and I'll put this kind of out of the way for now. Uh, I can drag this red probe and this black probe to any two places on the circuit. So for instance, if I put the red probe on one end of the battery and the black probe on the other end of the battery, I should read 12 volts, which I do. That is telling me that from the bottom to the top of the battery, I have a voltage gain of 12. Remember, this battery can be pictured like a pump. So this would be like it pumps water up 12 feet in the, in the air, giving it more potential energy. If I reverse these and put my probes on the opposite end, I get negative 12 volts, meaning that now this side is lower than that end. Now let's start from the beginning of the circuit, like I have it now, and work our way around until we get to our first light bulb. So I'm at 12 volts here, and now I want to know where I get to at the front of this light bulb. Well, still 12 volts. The water hasn't gotten to the light yet in order to drop down. But if I go to the other end of the light bulb, I'm at 8 volts. So what's happened by going over this light bulb, it's like I've dropped 4 feet. This resistor acts like a little waterfall, taking some of that energy out of my circuit and sending it off in the form of light. So what I'd like you to do is to take these probes for each of the circuits that we're going to use and measure the voltage drop across each battery as well as the voltage gain oh, I'm sorry, the voltage drop across each light bulb as well as the voltage gain across the battery.